In 1988, days before Christmas, the Scottish town of Lockerbie was suddenly engulfed in flames. Pan Am Flight 103 was flying from London to New York when a massive explosion in the cargo hold brought the Boeing 747 down over southwest Scotland. All 259 people on board died, as did 11 others whose homes were hit. It remains the deadliest terror attack in British history. US authorities accuse Abu Ojala Massoud of making the bomb. He had been in a Libyan prison for unrelated crimes. Now he's been arrested by the FBI and is expected to face a federal court in Washington in the coming days. To know now that one of those who's involved in the bombing is coming to the US to stand trial and face justice through our legal system, it is something that we have been fighting for for over three decades. Abdul Basset al-Magrahi was the only person convicted of the Lockerbie bombing. He was jailed in 2001. He was given a hero's welcome when he returned to Libya in 2009 after being released from a Scottish prison on compassionate grounds after being diagnosed with terminal cancer. He died three years later. On December the 21st, the people of Lockerbie will once again observe the day they lost so much. But this year, there may be a sense of hope that they can finally get some justice. Steve Kinane, ABC News, London.